on this one. Hi. What's your name? Is your is your name? Oh! Hi. If I turn around and this dude is right behind me, I swear I'm punching. I'm punching him. Quick! Quick! Bring my neck! Oh! You in my face with it. Oh, God. Breathing on my neck. Got the neck hair standing up now. Not sure how I feel about it. What's going on, Mr. Johnny, and welcome to Ghost of Tomorrow. This is We're back, okay? We're back. This is the third time we've played this. It's got an update. Let's see what we can get into as of late, baby. I'm back in my apartment. Gotta check my phone before I go to sleep. You're telling me you're back in your apartment, but you didn't take your phone with you? Why didn't you take your phone with you? Most people take their phones with them. When they leave. You know? It's usually. Maybe a little bit different. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna judge. No, ju no judgment from over here. That's the bathroom. I remember that. In here. Right? Now, last time we played this, you actually start in this room in here. Can you not make those noises, please? Thank you. Excuse me. Alright. Is that- am I supposed to, like, check something? All I did was pick it up. Hello? Look, I gotta, like, do something. I gotta swipe to unlock it? How do I swipe? There it goes. I mean, are you coming home next weekend? Man, are you coming home next weekend? Man, uh, I've been calling and texting you for two days, and you haven't answered. I haven't heard anything from you for days. Where are you? Are you okay? Please call me. Well, I mean, she's probably all messed up, dude. I mean, to be honest. Okay. Notebook. All right, we got, we got coffee here. That coffee's probably been sitting there for a long time. Probably shouldn't be using that. Let's, let's, let's close that. Okay. Oh, I gotta pick my phone back up for it to do it. Okay. I'm gonna walk on this apartment for like 20 minutes trying to figure out what I gotta do. All right, we get it. Is it a package? Why is my, why is my light off? I can't pick this up, huh? It's darky dark over here. I can't turn it on, not, not pick it up. Gail, it's me, Martha, Amanda's mother. Do you know where Amanda is? She hasn't answered my phone calls for two days. Please, if you know anything, call me. 258-456-4780. Alright, let's go, baby. Okay. Okay, well, it seems like everything that happens is a trigger. So let's just, like... Let's just freaking do one of these real quick. Put it down. There it goes. So it's... it's Whatever you pick up or do is a trigger for the next thing. Fuck. Fuck, can you not, please? Fuck. Clock, I'm gonna need you not to do that. Clock? Mr. Clock. Dude, we get it. Yeah. You're just uh, spinning around, bro. Alright! You done? Thank you. Okay. Missing person, Amanda Graham. Oh, I hear crying. I don't like it. All right. It's on here. It's this way. I'm an idiot. Hello? Can I freaking light on? Yes, turn that on. Jeez. So dark. She stopped. Uh, no. I don't like it. I'm getting goosebumps. Quit it. Are you done? Now, I do remember... Yeah, it's right here, right here. I do remember this part right here. And then, then, then this thing closes. And then there's a person. Yep, I got that. I do remember that from the last time I played this. There's a flashlight on. Oh, yeah, I remember this too, kind of. The person at the end of this. Hello? Yep. I knew it. I knew it, baby. We're here, baby. That's all right. It's okay. <gasps> it opened. 
Oh, you want me to go in here, huh? I'm not, I'm not really ready for that. Close, don't close that door. Hello? Oh my god, I do remember this now. Okay, yeah, I have to go to the end of the... At the end of this hallway. So after this, after this little blue hallway, there should be some new content. Some just ran and went to a door. Uh, don't do that. Okay, thanks. I think it was, I think I saw like a glimpse of it. Was it this one? All right. In living memory, I made a grant. Oh my God. You know, just, mm, you know? Oh, this one. Hi. What's your name? Is your is your name? I'm going to this one. How about that? Freaking jerks. A trial of Gail Rogers. I'm not reading that. Okay, not doing it. You guys want to read it? You want to pause it? Go ahead. Go ahead. That's all you. Give me about another two seconds. All right, got it. All right. I think we're gonna do this one again. I'm gonna get the ones that already have the ones, um, like the one going across the one that already got the blood on it. Yeah. Who's breathing? Hello? I could have sworn I heard someone breathing. Alright. Gailardus pleads guilty. Again, I guess when I read that, uh, turn of events, Gailardus pleads guilty for first degree murder of Amanda Garama for hiding in courts will be sent to 25 years in prison. Um, I'm guessing guess just kind of goes through the, the court thing. Got it. Alright, let's go to this one over here. If you hear noises. Right? This flashlight doesn't do a thing, I can tell you that. <gasps> oh, hello. Hi. If I turn around and this dude is right behind me, I swear I'm punching. I'm punching him. Quick! Quick bring my neck! Oh! You in my face with it. Oh god. He's all up in my grill. Breathing on my neck. Got the neck hair standing up now. Not sure how I feel about it. Right. Yep. I don't really need that. Go to this next one. I think we got the ones down here done. Oh, I can't do it? Am I not done with this yet? Okay. There we go. Boom. Now the phone's all stupid. Can't pick it up though. Next door. Bada bang, baby. Stop the madness. Put it back down. Don't need to read it because I know what it says. Stop the madness. You know why I know that? Because I can read it. Bada bang. Um. Or don't stop the madness. Is that what it says? Or stop, stop the madness? I don't really know. Oh, yeah. We, we didn't get this one. So let's do this one. Can you not do that, or do you have to be like that all the time? I don't know what that was, but that scared me. All right, last door. And it's quiet. Don't make things quiet in horror games. It makes it way worse for me, and I'm sure for other people as well. If you make it all not quiet, or yeah, not quiet, it's fine. But when you make it just quiet and all you can hear is footsteps, don't care for it. Don't do that. Where am I going? Hello? Is that the end? There's no way. There it goes. All right. All right. Freaking. That, that's not the end, right? I am back at home. It's all just a nightmare. Now, this is all new. I haven't played this. This is definitely new for me. 
Hey. Football. All right. Can't go in here. I don't really know where to go. <sighs> don't do that to me. We don't don't start your shit, okay? Just don't. Oh my god, you joking? Don't. I don't really know where I gotta go now. What? Who just did that? Who just breathed? This wasn't a nightmare. We're living in a nightmare. Still. Okay. It's quiet. Oh, door opened. Go. Didn't give me that time. Good, baby. No, open that back up. Because now we know we have to go in there. The daughter has told me that running my thoughts is a therapeutic and might help with the trauma. How much more can I handle? After losing my daughter to a murder, which itself is a horrible tragedy, my husband has been very absent. Our daughter's death has been devastating to him and understandably so. I myself feel devastated. However, I try to move forward in life with him and my son, Dylan. Of course, the death of her sister was also affected by Dylan gravely, especially for a young 18-year-old boy. But at least I still feel he is around me. Unlike my husband, he tries out his hardest to still give me emotional support to his family. Still, my son's behavior was also changed. I quite don't know how to put it, but simply about him, but seems very different. Okay. Now what? I gotta watch my CPU, because this part of the game, it seems like the CPU's been going a little crazy, so I'm trying to take it, like, easy. Like, the turns and stuff, I'm gonna make it a little slow. That way it doesn't jitter around. This part of the game, it looks like it just wasn't, uh... Optimize or something. I don't know. I'm not really for sure. There's another note. I had feared my husband could be back at alcohol or back to alcohol addiction. I saw from being absent in our family's life. Now he seems to be drowning in sorrows with alcohol like he once used to. So this once what old habit, what she had overcome a long time ago, a few years after our marriage, now has creeped in again. His family always had a history of depression, alcohol addiction, and other mental illnesses. I'm really worried for him. I don't know what to do. He barely talks to me, and what when we do is just arguing. We argue about. What happened to Amanda? He gets mad at me because he thinks that I'm insane. He doesn't believe me when I say it. When I say something about what our daughter's murderer wasn't right. I knew that somehow she knew she was in trouble. We could have had done something to stop it. Okay. Nice easy freaking turns. Walk real slow. Around again. <laughs> just, I'm just trying to like not make sure everything is good. That way it doesn't jitter around too much. It seemed like the first half was good. This one, for whatever reason, I just need to update my computer as well, I think, but. Okay, what do I gotta do now? Can't go with that one. Did that note. I did that note. I have to go back to the, the uh, bathroom, maybe? Bathroom. Can't open the freaking things. Okay, I can't close. I can close that. That's locked. That's locked. That's locked still. Are there more notes I'm just not seeing? I don't see any more notes. Maybe I gotta turn this off. I don't understand. What this one? Hey, that's the last note. That's an, a door just opened. <gasps> this opened. Hi! Alright, bye. Okay. There's, oh, no, 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 here, right here, right here. The day I found out that my son is doing drugs, I think they, uh, that Gale monster only not only killed our daughter, but killed each one of us. Amanda's death has left a turmoil in this family. 
and I don't know what to do. Unfortunately, my son has a lot of his father in him. I tried talking about it with him, but he just won't. How much more can I handle? I myself have been depressed ever since men have died, but I'm not one to channel my depression to substance abuse. It's just not the way I was taught to confront things in life in my house. I try to keep my faith in God, and I find some peace with him. Within him. I'm the only one here trying to keep this family together from breaking apart. Okay, let's like look around. Okay, got some nice movies here it looks like. 35 millimeter. Okay, so this must be the, the, the sun's room. Yeah, I'm trying not to make it boom crazy here. Okay, how much more do I gotta look at this freaking note? Something needs to, to hit. Okay. Oh, shoot. Hi. What's your name? Oh, my. Don't like that at all. Okay, another note right here. I sometimes go to Amanda's room and try to find some comfort. Being in her room reminds me of her. I almost feel like she's around here. A few days ago, I swear I saw a figure that looked like Amanda walking down the hall. I also hear mysterious footsteps around the house when I'm alone. It has to be her. Her spirit is following me. Great. At least it's freaking daytime. No, it's not daytime. Just a weird lighting. Okay. Maybe it is daytime. Right? Not sure where else I gotta go now, to be honest. Here's something. I, I, I think I hear something. I'm not really for sure, though. There we go. You gotta go back to the freaking the notes. Alright. I think we already caught that before. Oh, this is a nice bedroom. Oh my god. Don't do that to me. I suppose my husband about the day I saw Amanda, and of course he thinks I'm insane and delusional. He immediately dismisses any conversation related to Amanda. He's afraid to confront anything related to her. It's almost like he wants to forget about her entirely. We've been discussing a divorce. He says that he's being around the house makes him more depressed. He rented an apartment for himself, and I barely say more talk to him. How much more can I handle of any of this? My body, my boy Dylan, is also barely around. His, his drug addiction has taken a toll on him. Okay, here we go. Okay. That closed that door. This open. Okay. There we go. Bring it, bring it out. What's up? What's happening? I gotta find a way out, or a way to get out. Do they lock me in the bathroom? The key. I'm guessing that's the only thing I gotta get. Mount. Oh hell no. Nah. In their dimensional ghost theory, throughout the history, many humans believe in the concept of a ghost and the spirit of the dead that come back to the world. But what if, what if ghosts are an interdimensional being, an entity living in another space and time of, or that is what the paranormal expert Alan Hansen has hold of? Okay, so it's just like spirits can come back to this world. Got it. E. So it looks like each room will have a key of some sort. Got it. This door? Oof. This one? Oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, that's so creepy. Oh, I don't like that. Don't ever do that again. Another note here. Stop the madness a bunch of times. I can't, I can't. How much longer? Stop the madness. <gasps> Key right here. I see it. Okay. Who does this key go to, I wonder? But it's the front door right here. Gotta be, right? Yeah. Okay. Father of murder roommate commit <gasps> commit suicide. Oh, I but I'm the person. Right? I but I was that guy. Or something, maybe. I don't know. If you want to follow this story, let me know in the comments.
Oh, I'm playing. Okay, my fault. Amanda, it's me, Amy, your friend. Can you read my text? Yeah. Yes. I can't believe it. It's been two years. I never thought I would speak to you again. Not after... After what? After you died. What? Oh, okay, so I'm Amanda. Got it. To be continued. All right, yes, I want more of this, baby. Give me all of it. Give me all of it, baby. I want it all. All right, guys, this was Ghost of Tomorrow. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys do the YouTube thing. Like, comment, subscribe, and show your friends. As always, guys, my name is Johnny, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Okay? A little bit late. Be a late video today, but I can help it. Right? Just, uh, don't know what else to play. I have Resident Evil 3, but eh, don't even feel like playing Resident Evil 3. I bought it. I haven't played it yet. I haven't even done that. What? Why? I don't know. Me. Okay? That's it. Bye.